Mike DePalma. Uh, I think we're gonna call that one an absolute trench warfare today between you and Colt Cotton. First off, a Pennsylvania guy, I don't know if you know that, he's a PA guy, you're a PA guy. He's from Benton, I believe. Benton, boy. Looking at that match. He was in your head, Mike. He's clubbing you, he's moving you. Great season, great start for you thus far. Fifth at Cliff Keen last week. Um, but but that match, walk me through your thought process in that match. Um, you know, I, I think it was just one of those situations where I let my head get the best of me and I didn't stay focused and didn't stay in tune with the match. And I mean, I think that kid's goal was to get me frustrated and get his head up under mine. And, it worked and that's an area where I need to focus on and be a little bit more mature and you know that's a little bit embarrassing for my part to give up penalty points like that and uh, he's a tough wrestler though he can hand fight hard and he can brawl but I can't let that get the best of me and I can't act that way in matches. It didn't feel like he was, I felt like he was just wrestling hard. I don't feel like he was just being dirty for the sake of being dirty. He was wrestling hard. That frustrates you. Last week, did you get frustrated in some of your matches last week? Semi-final was short. What did you learn from those matches uh, and some of the losses? Yeah, I feel like that short match was one that, you know, it's just one of those situations where things didn't go my way. I gave up that single leg takedown off of my shot. And right after that, I just kept going to my sit out, kept my hips too far away, go tight waist turn. And I think that was a scenario that, like, I, I could never see that happening again when I played out my head, ever. In the Pentelio match, I watched it. He gets like a fluky takedown. Not that that dude's not a total horse, but then he sucks you back and pins you. What'd you learn from that one? Uh, stay more in a ball when I sit out. <laughs> Can you be in Madison Square Garden right there to compete to win a national title, Mike? That's a plan. Looking at that match, what'd you take out of that one today besides getting, not getting frustrated? Uh, you know, one pause from it, I still found a way to win. I know past times in my life, I, I would have let the frustration get the best of me and I wouldn't have found a way to win, but that's only pause if I can take out of it right now, figuring out a way to win. Mike, in the past, those that match, uh, here's the two matches I'll point to. That match you would have lost. You'd have lost your mind and lost. And then the Davion Jeffries fifth sex match. Davion Jeffries is a freak. I don't know if you know that, the Oklahoma guy. The guy you wrestled oh, for fifth sex. I was in a heated mood there. I was not losing. It didn't matter who you put in front of me that day. I was not losing to fifth and sixth. To not triple dip, to win that one today, to, yeah, to just take fifth. Was, I took two losses that day that I felt I wasn't planning on losing. You know, I was, I was planning on winning the tournament. That was what was in my head. There was nothing else acceptable for me. And uh, when I was going for fifth and sixth, I was just thinking, I'm going to put it on this kid. And I didn't feel the wrath. He be he's beaten Pentelio twice. You yeah, know that, right? That. Everybody beat everybody. You beat Kraus, Pentelio. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's he's beating torn, everybody. Man. Yeah, and it's 49. Le'Veon, Le uh, he hasn't taken yeah, any Yeah, Levon's a stud. There's no question. He's a Matt guy. You'll have him next week. Yeah, it'll be fun. Big match. Um, are you excited about that one? You know, I you am. That's going to be a, that'll be a good week. We don't have any class this week. It's just finals. It'll be nice preparation for it. And, um, it'll be an exciting dual meet. I've never wrestled him before. It's going to be a, a battle, a clash of styles there. He likes distance. I like my hands on. It'll, uh, I'm looking forward to that. You were 500 last year going to the MAC tournament. Something switched in March for you. Something switched for you this year. What is it? I just pray to God for help with my mental aspects of the game. And he answered, and he really helped me keep it together. All right, Mike, you got anything else for me? That's it. Fun win today. Fun to watch, Mike. Thanks.